Well, hey y'all. It's about the only turkey I've seen right here on the road today. Um, it's Mike Hines. Wildlife Outdoor Survival. Uh, second weekend of turkey season, y'all, here in Kentucky. Um, weather's been terrible for the last three or four days. Pretty much all week been raining and nasty. Uh, like I said, there was just turkey crossing the road right down there going off in this little field beside us. I'm not sure what it was. I just caught a glimpse of it. But anyway, y'all, we've been kind of scoping out from the fields and uh, scoping out here and there and looking around. We've seen a few turkeys off in the distance today, but not a whole lot. So there's that turkey going out in the field. I think that's a hen. storm front and weather and stuff supposed to be moving out of here this afternoon but the way it looks it's just kind of swirling around um i don't know it, it, if this weather did break and sun pop out a little later on we might uh we might actually see some turkeys but anyway um i got something in the house i've been working on or had an idea i was gonna work on and uh, i guess that's what we'll do we'll make a little video working on this my little project in here and once i get back in here i'll let y'all see what's going on. All right, y'all. We're back in the house here now. And uh, we'll drive more comfortable in here. Anyway, here's what I'm kind of working on, y'all. I got to think about it. Hadn't done no kind of bushcraft or anything like that in a while. So I thought maybe uh might take some of this scrap leather, some of these old laces I got, piece of leather strap. And uh, what I plan on doing is making a sling out of it. But you could use almost any kind of material for this. You could probably use a piece of heavy plastic, inner tube, um, actually an old piece of hide off an animal. But anyway, we're going to get this, get us a square cut off of here. I've already got it started. And uh, we'll go from there. Alright, y'all. Got my little square cut here. I want this to be pretty soft, so what I'm going to do, um, I'm just going to kind of pull, loosen the fibers up each direction. Maybe kind of work this thing a little bit. Alright, that's pretty soft. Alright, what I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to kind of caddy corner this thing. I'm going to put me a hole in each side of this and uh, once I get a hole in that, that's where we tie our laces to to make the straps on the side of our sling. And um, then we're probably going to end up doing a little trimming on this. But anyway, that's where we're at. We're going to go from there, y'all. Okay. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I made three holes right there in that corner. And what I'm going to do, I'll probably end up braiding these laces together and after I do, I'm going to take the three strands, I'll run one through from the inside and I'll run the other two through from the outside, loop them around, tie them together and what that's going to do is instead of just having one hole that could tear out, I'll have three points of contact or work, maybe it'll make it a little stronger. That way if one of them does break, we're still in pretty good shape. Okay. All right, y'all. I got that one braided through there. I mean, uh, run through there. What I'm going to do, y'all, I'm not going to push it all the way up. Where this point is, I want that to be right in the point of those three pieces of leather. Okay. Now, I'm going to take these two, run them through from this side, and then when we get done, we'll tie all this together and Everything should be binded where it's three points of contact on that. Alright y'all, I got that side tied. You can see right there it's kind of made a little pucker and what that's going to do when we make our other side, it's going to help make our pocket and when we sling it, it's going to actually kind of hold it open. 
so our projectile comes out freely. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're gonna make our three holes on the other side. What I do at it is take the point of my knife, figure out where I want to start at, and just kind of make a little X. Then something I do, I just take a stick, kind of work the hole there like that. We're gonna do that. Two more times, just like we did here. All right. There you go. I got the centerpiece through there. Same thing, triangle touches or not. Now, I just got to feed these back through here. From the inside, from the opposite side, we did the others. I'm sorry, from the outside. <laughs> About made a mistake there, y'all. If you have any trouble getting that through there, take that little stick out there in the belt. Just kind of help persuade it through there a little bit. Sometimes a little persuasion goes a long way. Just let it sit outside. There it comes, y'all. Alright. I'm going to cinch that down. Do just like we done earlier. Tie this off right around here, right around the top. Okay, y'all. We got this thing all tied down now. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna braid these sides. Probably make me a little loop on one end here. But uh, anyway, I just want to let y'all see where we's at. Like I said, y'all, we're probably gonna trim some of this off, kind of make it more of a smooth shape or our projectile can slide right out of there with ease. Alright. Alright, y'all. We're braiding up the last side here. All I'm doing is just a three-plaid braid. And, uh, like I said, y'all, you don't have to use leather for these things. If I was in a survival situation, um, you could use a piece of 
probably cloth for like the center part. Use your shoestrings. You can take a piece of your shirt, shoestrings make this. Um, piece of plastic, piece of inner tube, just about any kind of material you can make this with, even if you had to make cordage to make this with. But anyway, I'm going to get this thing braided up and uh, we'll go from there, y'all. Alright, y'all. Got my sling pretty much put together here. Got to braid it up. One thing I am going to do, though, I want to show y'all. Um, Alright. See how I made one of these longer than the other one? Okay. Well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a loop on the, the short one to where it's the same length as the knot on this one. That way, when I get ready to use this, I can slide this over two of my fingers, the loop, and then hold the knot. And when I actually use this, um, when you're swinging and aiming, when you release, you actually let go of the longer one, and it will open the sling up. So we're going to tie this off here and get our loop the same distance as the other end, and uh, we'll go from there. Thank you. 